So if we ask the children what's wrong with uh, the game as we've designed it above, we should get responses around it only asks one question or it's only asking the same question. And we haven't yet implemented this functionality of being able to ask uh, questions. Uh, it does check the answer, but only for the one question that we've got. So we're going to fix this. And again, we're working from the inside outwards to solve this particular problem. And so the way we're going to fix this to begin with is that uh, we are going to try and see whether we can ask uh, a different question um, using different numbers, not just two times four. So at this point we can ask the children to um, recommend some blocks, uh, instructions that we could use, uh, but uh, uh, the one we're going to use, and, and they can go away and, and uh, suggest some, and the one uh, we are going to use is this one here, which allows us to pick a random number. So the computer will pick a random number for us. So um, if we're going to do a times table quiz, we might say, OK, well, maybe we need uh, random numbers. Maybe the two times table is too easy. And maybe we need to go from 3 to 12. And maybe we need a, a couple of those. So I'm just going to duplicate that. We need two of those so the computer comes up with different numbers. So now we come to the, the fiddliest part of the uh, program uh, in terms of putting blocks together. And that is the reason for that is because instead of just getting one uh, string, as it were, one um, sentence here, we want our sentence made up of lots of different things. And the way we're building up our sentence is we want to say we want to say what is, and then we want the computer to give us a random number, and then we want to say times, which is some, something that we're typing in, which isn't a number at all. And then we want the computer to join that with another random number it's given us, and then maybe we want a question mark at the end of it. So we've got all of these different elements which combine to make up uh, what the question that we're going to ask. And the reason this is fiddly is because the question that we construct is going to go in here. And for that to happen, we need to have this join command. And this join command only joins two things together. And because we need more than two things, we need one, two, three, four, five things, we need a few join instructions for us to construct that sentence. So let's see how we go about doing that. So let's say the first thing we want in this bit is what is. Okay, and then in the second bit we want a random number and then we want some more things. Now, because we can't uh, put lots of things in this second part here, which is essentially is blank as, as far as we're concerned, what we need to do is we need to get another join instruction and add it to this. So it's a bit like building Lego bricks um, up. So we need this in here so that we can join what is with the first bit is a random number. And now we've got this bit here we, where we can type in times. But we can't just type in times because we need to have times and then a random number. So we need to go and get another join and cover world with it. So now we've got what is Whoops. And I've deleted my long instruction, so I'm just going to go to edit and delete. So I need to have uh, what is a uh, random number. So what is, give me a random number. This bit should say times. And then the next bit is going to give me a random number, and then I need a question mark. So let me just put this particular join up here. So here, and then a question mark. So what I'm essentially doing with all of those joins is I'm putting together what is random number times random number question mark. And that's what all of my joins are allowing me to do. So this join is now going to cover this bit here of world. Uh, so now I've got this extremely long instruction made up of different joins because um, I am I am putting together things of different types, and that's now going to go over what is two times four. 
So if I let go of that, that puts my instruction in and now I can double click and it's going to ask. Uh, so it's, it's asking me what's seven times nine. And so that's great because it's asking me different questions. And now we have the next problem with our code. So the join instruction is fiddly, but it's uh, useful for uh, to get children to think about that and how and why they need to have many joins together. Um, and uh, if children get stuck, then the ones who have done it should be explaining to the others what is wrong with their uh, join instructions to help them sort that out.